Okay, so this is question three, part D, part one and part two. Um, from the previous part of the questions, we know that plane one is 3x plus 5y plus z equals negative 5, and plane two is 3x plus 5y plus z equals 6. So since these have the same normals, and they're both pointing in the same direction, they are parallel. I know that this would be my k value, and k divided by the... Um, the magnitude of the normal will give you the distance. Now, that k is really a dot n, and dividing it by the normal is a dot the unit vector of n. So that's going to be 3, no, I'm sorry, square root of 9 plus 25 plus 4, which is root 35. So the distance is negative 5 on root 35 from plane 1 to the origin, and plane 2 is 6 on root 35. Therefore, the origin must be in the middle, and plane 2 to the origin is 6 on root 35, and plane 1 to the origin is in the opposite direction, so 5 on root 35. Therefore, the two planes must be 11 on root 35 apart. Okay. In part 2, hence the coordinates of point Q, which is a reflection of point P, in plane 1. So if I got point P and I reflected it in part, then I know from P to plane 1 is 11 on root 35. And if I'm reflecting it in that plane, it's going to go another 11 on root 35. Therefore, Q should be point P plus 22 on root 35 in the direction of the normal. And I know from the previous part of the question, P is 1, 0, 3. Therefore, Q is going to be, oh, sorry, my normal will be 1 on root 35, and my normal will be um, 3i plus 5j plus k. So it's going to be um, i plus 3k plus um, the distance, which is 22 on root 35, times 1 on root 35, mm -hmm. times 3i plus 5j plus k. So it's going to be 22 on 35. So I'm going to have 1 plus 22 on 35 times 3 in the i. That is this plus this times 22 on 35. Because what I'm saying is, to get from P to Q, you are taking the point of P and you're adding two lots of root 35 in the direction of N. And since I divide N by its magnitude, then n hat gives me the direction of n, and this tells me how far I'm moving. So each of those can be calculated. So the second one will be plus 0 plus 5 times 22 on root 35 plus 3 plus 1 times 22 on root 35. Um, and you can work that out to give you an answer. They're all 35, because it was um, 22 on root 35, but then the um, magnitude of n is 1 on root 35. So that will give you an answer of. So point Q is negative 31 on 35, negative 27 on 7, 
and 83 on 35.